It is apparent how important the national religion, Buddhism, is to Thai people. The religion in many ways affects the everyday life of both Thais and tourists, bringing peace and spiritual comfort to the land and people. And the center of that lies inside a temple. One of the main concepts of Buddhism is karma, that our present actions will affect our future, and that good merit will lead to a longer, happier life. This is why many people go to temples and pay respect to important figures such as sculptures, shrines, and even monks by praying and giving offerings. Praying is often accompanied by chanting, which not only is a form of meditation to get your mind off of bad things, it is also to wish for good things in life, like success and protection. Same goes for offerings. People would often offer drinks or flowers to shrines and sculptures to show gratitude and wish for good karma. Many would donate money, which are often used for a good cause, and people believe that they would gain merit and spiritual peace by helping others. Not only that, families would also give flowers and food to the dead to show respect and help their spirits move on peacefully. People would also feed stray dogs and cats inside temples which were abandoned and taken in for safety. Another form of respect is lighting candles. People believe that the candlelight will illuminate the darkness inside of them and get rid of bad things. This is why many people light candles and let them float along water, taking their bad thoughts away with it. However, a temple is not just a religious location, it's a community. Many temples house monks, schools, and act as a gathering place for locals. Many temples also have small market stalls around the area. In the end, Buddhism is what made Thailand what it is today, and will continue to influence people's lives. Not only those living in Thailand, 